three. Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's uh, Russell here from Porky's Corner. How are you doing? Uh, today we're joined by Stuart Curry from Barton ABC in Salford, Manchester. How are you doing, Stuart? Yeah, I'm good, Russ. Yourself? I'm all right. I'm plodding on in the middle of this lockdown. Yeah, that's it, mate. Like I said to you last time, everyone's in the same boat, aren't they? So, you know. Yeah, there's not what we can do about it, is there? How's your gym? No. Well, I'm going to say, how's your gym running? It's not running, is it? It's, uh... Uh, no, no, we're still in the same situation we was the last time I spoke to you a couple of weeks ago. We're still, everyone's, everyone's still locked up, aren't they? So, how come you had that amateur kid on who's a top amateur? You're going to fetch on? I was going to bring him on, mate, but then I'd, you're going to get the snowflakes on board saying, oh, they're not from the same bubble, they don't live in the same household. Uh, yeah, Max, I was going to get Max on just because he's going in the Marines soon anyway, so. I don't think he'll uh, have many more bouts for us now. No? Uh, no, no, no. He'll, he'll, he'll go in the Marines. He'll end up boxing for the Marines at some point. So I was going to get him on. You could ask him a few questions on where he started and titles and championships that he's been in. But obviously, you're just going to get people putting comments going, oh, they're not in the same bubble, they're not in the same house, they're not, they're not got the same surname. So we'll just uh, we'll leave that one for now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, then. Uh, is there anything you like? Any topics that you like to talk about, Stuart, as regard amateur boxing or your gym or anything you're unhappy, um, with, or happy with? I just want to get things back to normal, mate. Cause it's doing my head in now, getting home from work and having nothing to do. Yeah, I'm, like I said last time, I'm out the house three or four times a week with doing the coaching and, and on shows. I mean, some weekends I'm out Friday and Saturday on shows if, we, if we've got kids matched up on shows. So to me, now this is just like. Like different, different gravy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one thing I would like to say, Russ, is congratulations on your two million viewers. I've seen that on one of your videos the other day. Yeah. In fact, what while you've said, while you've pointed that out to me, I just want to point some out because somebody, somebody said something to me earlier on. Yeah. Some spreadsheets, right? I'm just going to point out. I, I, obviously, my channel. Where, only about five thousand subscribers, to just over two million. I think it's about yeah. two million and twenty thousand views. So it's not a big channel, but no. the people who watch this channel, they're, they're they're the audience that I want. The people in the boxing community. I ain't really bothered yeah. about casuals, but as long as boxing people watch it, I'm all right. I'm happy, and I know they watch. Let me just point yeah. this out to you. you. Know that Joe Fournier is. I don't think I do know. Well, he's this, apparently, this this billionaire guy. He's a billionaire. He's David A's mate. Big, <laughs> big league. He, he, what? Big league. Well, apparently, so they say, like, so that, apparently it's not true, but he likes to be known as Billionaire Joe. Well, Billionaire <laughs> Joe, he ended up uh, with a WBA minor belt and a, and a ranking. Hmm. Right. He's just a garbage, can't fight for toffee. Now, yeah. but every time he does a video on IFL, he does views like that. So my mate sent me these analytics over. Let me just show you yeah. this. Two and a half hours, 10,000 views, which is better than what yeah. Joshua does, Tyson Fury, Logan Paul, or any of them. This is not the first yeah. time it's happened. Two and a half hours, 10,000 views. Only, yeah. only 49 comments. And all, yeah. all they spoke about was Joe Fournier fighting... Logan Paul or Jake Paul and and our our uh, big people in boxing and asking him to put money up for Mayweather fights and this and that. Mr. Big, I I call him Goldfinger, right? Yeah. So this this is how I look at it, right? Let me just point some out here. One of my videos over the same period, 1900 views over that same period, 175 comments. So yeah. how can he be 10,000? View yeah. 1219 views, 49 comments, and me 1975. It's because yeah. they're doing it to create this. Everybody yeah. wants to see Logan Paul against Joe Fournier. It's cheap, <laughs> it's a massive scale, and it's been going on for too long. None of these people are genuine, none no. of them are genuine. They can't even set a YouTube channel up. And do it properly. So I checked it today. We are our tech guy, and I said, and he showed me how they do it. And I said, "All right, you need money to do it, right?" And it makes you look good for sponsors and this and that. 
But yeah. you a lot of money to cheat if you're going to do it like that. So, But even if you cheat and do it, how can you be respected? I don't get it, mate. They no, can't, you can't. They can't even set a YouTube channel half of them and do it properly. Cheat. No, there's a, lot of fake, there's a lot of fake people in this industry, Russ, as well, you know. Oh, my God, don't get me started on that. Yeah. And, uh, change all that, Stuart. Say that again. I'm hoping to change all that. Yeah, let's hope so. And while we're on the while we're on the subject of cheats, let's talk about drug cheats in boxing. Drug cheats in boxing, who can I say at the top of my mind? Kovalev has been done. Yeah, again. Is that the second time that for him now? It's the first one, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Jarrell Mill has been done seven times, and if you count each individual test. Yeah, possibly. Dillian White. He's doing a band. Dylan White, two-time cheat. Although yeah. one of them's got an asterisk next to it. Uh, because he's yeah. seen it, he were of account. And listen, you know what? Let me just let me just point this out to Tony Bellew, the disappearing man. Tony, I know you're watching. Evening, Tony. Let me just say this. <laughs> Don't be coming out with that. Oh, we're of account and all that. Well, where do you think the, the heavy stuff that they inject into their arms? Where do you think all that comes from? Still comes over a counter, doesn't it? Whether it's legal, or right? We're over counter substance. Me and you could buy it. Well, anybody can yeah. buy them. Anybody can buy them. And let me tell you, a lot of people are on them. Now, it's okay for Tony Bellew to say that life bans and stone them, but mm. when it's one of Matchroom's lot, oh, knowing me won't do it like that. You can't have it both ways, Tony or Anthony. No, can't. no, you can't. Mate. You agree you with can't. That? It's I do agree with that, mate. You know, it can't be one rule for one and one rule for another. I, what, well, I remember Bellew coming out with something where um, he said something on a Sky interview that there should be a lifetime ban on on, on, a, on a drug cheat. Yeah. Don't, don't you remember that? Yeah, I remember it. And I, and I remember people from Matchroom getting done. And I remember yeah. him not saying a word. Yeah, because what you got to think about, Russ, right? Say me and you was boxing each other, right? I'm full of gear, I knock you out, put you in a coma, you don't come out of that coma. In, in, in that murder, or is that not manslaughter? Or It's manslaughter, isn't it? Because you never had a motive to kill me, did you? You just wanted to win the fight. No, didn't I didn't. The phone keeps fucking up. Sorry, mate. Go on. It's, mur- it's, not uh, it's manslaughter, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. So, uh, it's not right, is it, mate? It's not right. No, I don't agree with you, and... There's too much of it go on. I mean, there's there's Josh. Did Joshua have a TUE, a uh, therapeutic exemption certificate, or whatever it's called? I've, I've not heard that one. Uh, well, that's what I've heard. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I'm wrong, Anthony Joshua, you big dosser. <laughs> Floyd May. While we're on that, while we're on that subject, Joshua Fury, can you see it happening? Well, this is how I look at it, right, Joshua Fury. Let me just let me just point this out to you. Here's another yeah. statistic for you. This is where we're at in boxing. They keep doing interviews and talking about it, don't they? All the Bean Masons, all the Sky Match Room Cult, Josh yeah. Fury, Eddie Yearn, whatever. We're going back and forward and back and forward. Tyson's been out at ring a year, right? Yeah, yeah. He He's knee deep in legal issues. That fight's not happening, right? But let me just no. say that if it were, if that fight were happening, Tyson would have had a warm up fight this year. He's going to need a warm up before, before Joshua now because his tools are not sharp. And, and that's what he's yeah. about saying. And I agree with John Fury on that. And I don't agree with him on much. Yeah. But listen to this in the next 56 days, seven of the 11 UFC champions will fight each other. Of the seven, yeah. five of them, so of, of the seven, five are fighting the number one and number two ranked. And these are all champions, by the way. And the other two are going to be left to fight each other. And they're champions, yeah. former champions. That's what Dana White's doing for UFC. We don't see any interviews on any YouTubers where they're trying to build fights up and this and that. They're just going for it. And yeah. that's the most yeah. take care of it. All this about, yeah, let's fight down the line. Do you know people, when they said to me, yeah, let's get him down the line, I don't want to hear any about that down the line shit. I don't no, want to no. I want to see him get at it now. I don't yeah, want to that's that down it. the line rubbish. It's all yeah, that. It. We have social media. It's not like 
Ben and Eubank stayed apart for three years before it rematched, didn't they? Yeah, I could understand that yeah. in them days. Well, that's 1993. Yeah. Which, yeah. We're 28 years later now. 28 yeah. years later. We don't need to be building them. Social media can build it up. I don't want another Pacquiao Mayweather where it's flat as a fart when they fight then. Because they're both... Yeah, yeah. I don't want to see to be, another free... To be, fair, from. to be fair, the Ben and Eubank one, they've both moved up in weight as well, haven't they? They both moved up in weight, but I don't want to see another Joe Fraser Ali where they pass the best when they do fight, you know, in third fight. No, no, no. They need to no. be fighting now. I don't want to hear all, all this Bob Arum, Frank Warren, Eddie Heard, MTK. They're supposed to be big hitters in boxing, aren't they? And they all yeah. can't get the fight on. And I've been screaming it since last March. They're not yeah. going to fight because they've got legal issues. So what we've done now, we've had a year of knackers, a year yeah. of back and forth. And everybody's, think... everybody's worn fucking out with it. <laughs> I don't think it helps that they're both with separate promoters either because I, I just can't see Eddie Hearn working with Frank Warren. No, it's, no I, Eddie Hearn's just... going to... They're, they're going to look for ways out of it. The chameleons, aren't they? All of them, they're just playing the fans. <laughs> and all these gimps from Beanville Island who keep coming up to me going on about <laughs> Fury Joshua and I keep saying to them, yeah. don't chat shit in my company. I don't want to hear shit. Go and yeah. do your own work and look at who Al Heyman and Shelley Finkel are. They are not yeah. going to allow it to happen. I've heard from people who know these people. Yeah, it'd be a shame if it. It'd be a shame if. It'd be a shame if it doesn't happen, Ross. Because uh, I think it'd be a pretty decent fight. To be fair. Listen, mate. There was, did Daniel? Did not Daniel Kinahan? Tyson Fury came out and said that. Thank you very much to Daniel Kinahan for making the fight. Dan the man. Am I right? Yeah, it never happened. Well, that yeah. last summer. Well, fucking February next week. February yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I think they're. Uh, I think they're waiting for crowds to come back as well, Ross. Well, that could be a big know, factor. Talking crowds, but look, they can't do it without crowds, can they? But don't. No. It's done. Don't keep coming out every few months saying it's done. It's close. It, it, it's ninety percent. Cause the chatting shit. They're just trying to stay relevant. <laughs> it's fucking stupidness now. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, mate. It's definitely. a laughing stock. Pair of them are laughing stocks. It's a joke. Fury and Joe yeah. become a laughing stock now. That and so have all the people around it. They all need to hang the fucking heads in shame. And let me tell yeah. you this: all these people that keep coming out of it, they're trying to keep the narrative going. All this Macklin, Bellew, uh, Bean, yeah. John the Baptist, John the ba uh, what's he called? Johnny Nelson, company man, John the Baptist. I call him. Yeah, they're all, they're all saying that Fury and Bambi, because I call him Bambi, because when he gets clipped on chin, he, go, he turns into Bambi, doesn't he? Oh, they're gonna fight. They're gonna. He's Joshua's gonna do this, and Fury's gonna do that. Then they're gonna do fuck all because they've got court cases <laughs> and legal shit. Yeah. Fuck all. Yeah. Is we'll, we'll, oh. we'll, we'll, just have, we'll just have to see how that pans out over the next twelve months or so. Well, look, look, if they're nowhere near to have look, you know, Eddie Earn, do you think he really wants to put Joshua in him? They know the boxing earned. They know yeah, they do. Say Fury will get bashed up or schooled. He can't yeah. mix with Fury, so they're not. No. Gonna, but they're going to tell us something different. They're going to hide behind injuries, COVID, or no crowds, <laughs> or mandatory. There's fucking. They've got every excuse coming. All base yeah. covered. They're not going to upset the fucking apple cart. Yeah, yeah, they possibly. Against, they lost them belts against Ruiz, and they got them back, didn't they? And the yeah, straight away. Are, the back on track to where they were before the first Louise fight, and Fury won't even yeah. mention then. It's just an afterthought, mate. The longer they keep Fury out of the ring, they think the better. Yeah, yeah, because obviously he's uh, he, he can uh, he can malfunction a little bit, can he? Yeah, let me just turn my phone off because I'm sick of it going off. But yeah, go on, nah, I don't want it. I don't want to hear it. It's, just, it's, it's fucking utter knackers. knackers. Yeah, I'll tell you something that's pissed me off in the last seven days. Oh, what? Josh Warrington vacating his title. Well, well, what, what, what would you do if you were Josh Warrington? Would you fight for thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars? No, I wouldn't. But there you go. If oh, if Josh Warrington's a world champion and he's with this top promoter, yeah, why, why did he get he bid? Why did, well? Why is he not getting looked after? Why is he not keeping that champion in his camp? Why didn't Eddie Earn put a bid in for Josh Warrington, his fighter? His yeah, so how, how, how would that purse work out then, Russ? Fifty thousand dollars split between two people. Seven thousand five hundred for Josh Waddington. Twelve thousand yeah. five hundred for Galahad. 
And Al Heyman yeah. just won the bid, didn't they? Minus your uh, training fees, sparring partners. Yeah, camp, flights, Ten, everything. 10% to your trainer and whatnot. You, you, what's he going to be left with? Nothing. It's not a lot, mate. Well, well, it's not, it's not, not a lot for a world champion that sells out arenas. No, when he was giving 100,000 uh, a time when he went with Eddie Hearn uh, originally, years ago. Yeah, he was probably getting that for his European, British Commonwealth European title defences. Yeah, yeah, Dennis Dennis nearly signed him a few years ago and that were, he was six figures plus then. He's big name, yeah. he? Josh Warren. He's like a little... Oh, of course he is. Yeah, yeah. Massive. Yeah. So why should he fight for... 30, well, what's that in our money? 30 grand in our money. $37,500. What is it? 30 grand, 31 grand or something like that. Yeah, but yeah, it fluctuates, doesn't it? Probably about 32 grand. Why didn't his big promoter, who's got his back, I've got you back, my fighters, I like my family. Uh, yeah. Didn't even yeah. fucking bid. <laughs> Frank Warren didn't bid because he knew it was garbage, the fight, because Galahad comes yeah. to spoil, doesn't he? Yeah, Galahad, yeah, he does. Well, he's right. a spoiler Sorry. and a drug cheat. I'm not interested in him, although he, he is very difficult to beat and he's got an horrible he is. It's not fan-friendly. and No. All Al Heyman wants is the belt off him. They just want to pinch the belt off him. They don't want to... Look, yeah. look, you know when you're a, you're a fan and you go out with your mate on piss and they say, come on, Porky, we're going back to yours for fucking midnight or 10 o'clock for boxing. We're, yeah. going, we're going back to yours, Porky. We're going to get steam and we're going to rip shit up because Kid Galahad's fighting. <laughs> Who fucking says that? Do they? You just stay in the pub, mate. Hey? You just stay in the pub, wouldn't you? You won't bother. Yeah, you just say, oh, we'll get it on YouTube next day for free. We're not watching that fucker. Well, you wouldn't even watch the fun uh, fight. I know what style's a fan friendly, and it ain't a fan, fan friendly style, but he's mastered. A style. Yeah. To be honest with you, he's got every shot in book. He's like the complete yeah. fighter, but. When he gets in that ring, he just chooses to spoil. Now, Josh Warrington beat him by two rounds, in my opinion, fighting his yeah. fight. Yeah, he does. He got the decision. So, but like I said, for Eddie Hearn not to bid on it, it shows you that he don't give two fucks about Josh Warrington. He don't. He don't give. Yeah, yeah. I was a bit. I was a bit taken aback there when I seen that because I thought, you know, you've signed him. He's left Frank Warren to go with you anyway. Yeah. Why not back him? Another thing as well, like uh, I thought Eddie were billion dollar man. He got billions, and he billion dollar Eddie, <laughs> billion dollar Eddie, and he can't even put a decent bid. In. He couldn't even put a bid in of I don't know five hundred thousand dollars for that fight, which yeah, just which make, would yeah. have been three seven fifty for Josh. Uh, yeah, three, uh, yeah, three seven three hundred and seventy five grand for Josh, hundred and twenty five thousand dollars for Gallard. They were both. Yeah. They both had his fighters. He could have done that. While the Warringtons, uh, get, they haven't got deals with Eddie, have they? But I think he's no. he hasn't got a deal in Gallard, free agent. But Eddie yeah. could have looked after them and said, "We'll sell Arthur for." But they didn't want him because the first fight was smelly. And you yeah, know, it was. You know, if you well, the first fight, Stuart, it was shit. And you know, if you get shit on your shoe in your garden, what do you do? You get rid of it. You know why? Cause it fucking leaves a stain on carpet, doesn't it? So you wouldn't yeah, want to does. fucking tread in that shit again, would you? <laughs> Definitely not, mate, no. So, no. Uh, where do you see Warrington going, then? I see him probably not fighting this fight, this Lara fight. because there's a lot No, of... no, I can't see that. There's nothing on the line. I think the relationship's damaged now. I'm not going to say that I've heard yeah. back off anybody, because I haven't. I'm just yeah, reading, yeah, yeah. reading between the lines. I am friendly with Spongebob, yeah. but... I'm just reading read between the lines that I, yeah. I think that uh, I think the relationship's broken down now, irretrievable. Yeah. And I, I don't see it happening. I see an injury and I see him going the separate ways. If not, how could he ever think that Eddie Earn would ever have his back again? Because he didn't go out to bat for him with a purse bid. Now, I always go on about matching with a purse bid because they never win them, do they? They don't even no. like to get to purse bids because they're not in fucking control of the situation. Is yeah, it? I mean, how old's Warrington now? What is he, 28, 29? He's 29, isn't he? For a featherweight, that's getting on a bit. Yeah, he might only have two years. So, for him to do that, it's shocking. But this is how yeah. I look at it. Josh Warrington's a world-class fighter. He's jumped through every hoop and passed with flying. Yeah. So, why can't they get behind a kid like that? He's got a full city behind him. I mean, yeah. am, I yeah. am I fucking missing something here, Joe? Um, 
I'll tell you something now. Uh, I'll tell you something now, Russ. I echo the words that you once said on one of your videos. All, boxing's all about levels, isn't it? Yeah, there's six levels. So he's won the he's won the central area. He's won the English, the British, the Commonwealth, the European, the world, and defended yeah. it. And defended it. Beat champions. Yeah. Beat Frampton. Beat Selva. Kiko Martinez. He beat him, didn't he? Kiko Martinez. Yeah, Zelfa Barrett's fighting him next. And he beat uh, Gallard, who, 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 who good on as another world champion, because he beat Shazza Dickens if they fight. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He beat, definitely, beat, Yazza, yeah. beat him again. Oh, he's a lovely kid, Yazza, and I love him to bits. I really like yeah. him. I think his style's not... No, it's all wrong for Gallard. He's, uh, I, I think wrong. he's got his number. Yeah, he's Gallard. got his number there. So Gallard's really... He, he's basically been handed a world title, hasn't he? There. But Gallard's... All his titles, all the way through levels, have all been vacant. Right, I didn't know that. Every single one of them, because no one wants to fucking fight him, do they? No, no, no. You know what He's I mean? Because his style's a... horrible. I saw him fight Josh Whale, and I, I felt for Josh that night. I mean, yeah. Because he just weren't there to it. He just didn't want to engage, whereas Josh wants to get in pocket and set about you. And he yeah, he does. He want to do that. He just wanted to spoil and run. You know that typical... They call it the Ingle style, but it's the Herald Bomber Graham style. Graham style, yeah. Let's, yeah, get, let's just him. get... Let's not get confused about styles. Errol Bomagrain is from Nottingham. He took that style yeah. to the Ingle gym, but it's not the Ingle style. So let's just correct that. With all these yeah. people, it's the Ingle style, it's the Ingle style. I had to correct that Don Majeski, you know, with that New York uh, American big... Yeah, the reporter. Yeah, he's big, he big mates with Don King, isn't he? Uh, I yeah, had to yeah. correct him over dinner one night in Bulgaria. I said, what are you going on about Ingle style for Dom? It's the, it's the <laughs> Errol Bomagrain style. I could yeah. see Mick Ennis's face across dinner table. They're like, oh. Do, 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 do you know what, Russ? I can just fucking picture that now. You, you, yeah. you bending his head. I'm choking on this king prawn. And I went, <laughs> you are high style of Bob Graham style. He went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, who told you that? Load of shit. <laughs> like, people fucking spreading shit in boxing again. Knackers. Drives me yeah. crazy, man. Ask anybody, Glyn Rhodes, Mick Mills. Brian Anderson, anybody from that era up there? He, he yeah. asked Johnny Nelson. He copied Errol Bomber Graham's style, but it was the Errol yeah. Bomber Graham style. So all you gimps who keep calling it Ingle style, crawl out yeah. of Ingle, Dominic Ingle's arsehole. Fucking drive I'll tell you crazy. What. I'll tell you what, Russ. I've seen, um, I seen an interview once with Chris Eubank on the uh, ringside. Yeah. And... Uh, he was accused of, ni of nicking uh, Nassim Hamed's style jumping the rope. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's yeah. Not true. And then, it's not true. No, it's not true. It's not true because they rewound a couple of fights. When and he's in crowd, Naz, isn't he? Yeah, he's in the crowd. He's in the crowd. And he See, that's another fight. Ingle myth. That's another Ingle Jim myth. They're, they fucking yeah. love spreading myths up there. They, listen, you know that Jim yeah. up there? It's a fucking cesspit. If he, if yeah. he, any of his fighters fail, another Dominic Ingle, come see me. If any of your fighters fail, more dope. <laughs> you need to hand your fucking license in, you prick. Yeah. So yeah. it just has to be said. Listen, people are getting punched in the head. You've got trainers there whose fighters are failing dope tests willy nilly. If he fails the fourth test, well, board do fuck all. They won't do shit, will they, board? No, no, no. Fuck all, mate. Fucking drive yeah. me insane, man. Fucking people yeah. failing dope tests. And it's still training fighters. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God, what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Drives me yeah. crazy, mate. Yeah. Um, next subject I'd like to speak about is uh, what's happened with Lewis Ritson. Uh, I know you sent me a message the other day saying he'd, uh, he'd left his trainer, Neil yeah, Cannon. He's, uh, he's, with, he's gone back to his dad now. He's gone back to oh, has it? He said he's old right. sick, so let's hope he has gone back to his dad. But if he pops up in somebody's gym in South Yorkshire, I mean, oh, God, he'd be like, oh, my God, what's going on here? It's a cult. Yeah, yeah. Pointing towards it being a new world order of boxing, the new world order. I'll bet, I'll, I'll bet I can name that trainer in South Yorkshire. Dave Caldwell. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. If he pops up at the mole in the halls, Jim. Tenfold. Yeah. Now you're too small for me, Tenfold. Like yeah, man. yeah. Um, Rit, Rit, he's a good fighter, Ritson. No, that's that's. Yeah. Was it his trainer's fault that he put a stinker in against that Vasquez? Probably not. Probably not. I think he's tight at the weight. 
You know, you know, you know, Ritson, it, he's used to fighting with 10,000 cheering for him, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Not in front of no crowd. No crowd. And he looked a bit flat on that, didn't they? All have off yeah, I, I think he's tight at the weight as well, to be fair. He's well, a big lad, Rich, for that weight. Bad. He's a big lad. Yeah. He might need to move up, but he he, whack, he can whack for foot for England. Oh fucking hell, mate! He can clean people out. The, 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 like, he was in this bag right in Fano's gym. I was like, yeah, I've got it on film. I put it yeah, in yeah. This bag, and he's a lovely kid, you know. Yeah, but you know, yeah, sometimes they get the heads turned. He comes across really well, you know, and he, I've seen him on the on, on Sky and stuff in the interviews. He, he, yeah, he does come across pretty well. Lovely. He's a he's a bit of a working man's lad, isn't he? Yeah, he's a lovely kid, Lewis, and it's a shame yeah. what's happened. And Neil Fano's a, a lovely kid as well. They're lovely people. Yeah. Right? I've met Neil's family. They're all lovely. His daughter, his wife, yeah. all of them lovely up there. Uh, yeah. I'm gutted that they've gone the separate ways because I, I like Phil Jeffries. You know, he's his he's manager, uh, leader, yeah. manager, and, and he, Fano's his best pal in boxing. So Phil's kind of yeah. like, isn't he? And, yeah. Is that, uh, is that Tony Jeffries' his dad? Yeah, Tony Jeffries' dad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Don't he train the uh, people who, who in that Expendables film? He was training people like that one. He, he yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. And plus, Neil had a, had a lot of success with the um, what's he called Michael Hunter, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He did. He did well. Kevin Barrett as well. Okay, Kevin Barrett. He went. I, I, he he boxed on a, a bare knuckle show at Bowl was in Manchester. That Bennett. Yeah. 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 He's a good yeah. trainer, Neil. Like he's all right. I like Neil. I like Neil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen a lot of trouble stuff. like me. You see, we get on. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a lot of stuff with him online, and uh, again, he he comes across as a pretty down to earth, safe guy. So yeah, he's one of them, right? I mean, I don't want to keep going on about this, but there's a lot of people who kiss a lot of people's assholes in boxing. Yeah, and you yeah, get there is like Neil Neil Fano and Jaffa. You know, you meet Wales people like that. It's yeah, Chris Medley. They're good at boxing. They like the fighters yeah. fight, and they go on. They don't sit there tonguing people at after parties and stuff like that, or oh, no. retweeting every tweet that Eddie Earn puts out, and, <laughs> and and you know, and going and visiting Eddie Earn at his house in the middle of a fucking lockdown. They're not into all that shit. Oh, no, no, proper no. people, proper people. Yeah. Would you imagine me, oh. Whale, going on Twitter and tweeting everything Eddie Earn t- put out? It ain't gonna happen. Nah, nah. You know, nah. These, are, these are proper men, proper old school men, fifty plus year old. You know, yeah. you know. So, and and I think that social media has been good for boxing, but there's too many arse lickers in the boxing industry, and I mean yeah. arse lickers yeah. and people who report back on people. Oh, they've been out. They had a late one the other night. Oh, he's knocking a bird off on the side. <laughs> Reporting back to Eddie Hearn non-stop. It's got yeah, to stop. Yeah. Shit houses, you know who you are. I'm coming for you all. Yeah, I'll tell you who, I, who, who I've took a bit of a shine to just lately, and I've watched a few of his videos. And uh, what's he called? Neil Marsh. Yeah, yeah. He's done he well. Says it has it. He has done well, but you know what, mate? He only gives an interview. Yeah, when it's when it's appropriate. Yeah, you don't see him hanging out at the back of Eddie Hearn, do you? Or Frank or any others, do you? He goes he about. Was, uh, I, I, I seen the thing where David Avanissian was going to fight Josh Kelly, and oh. Adam Booth pulled him out, and there was a big hoo ha over it. And, it, no, and I watched it. Started about that. Yeah, I watched it a couple of times, and he and he, he's right in what he's saying because I don't think Josh Kelly was fit. Like he says in that video, and he look, he's looked at David Avanissian on the scales and thought, "Fucking, hell, I'm in for an hard night's work here." And he's pulled so him, didn't he? Avanissian is a more complete and seasoned fighter than Josh Kelly, isn't he? At yeah, this- and he's Russian and he's hard as fuck. Yeah, and uh, and he's a former world champion. He's been in with Shane yeah. Mosley, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's been in with Mosley, and uh, who else? He boxed. Uh, did he box Sean Porter? Yeah, he's been, he's he's not a guy to be messed about with, and I personally think oh. that's a hard fight for Josh Kelly at this stage of his career. Never mind all that, Adam Adam Smith a uh, uh, bean. Oh look at him, six hooks, six hooks off at jab. Well, you can't do <laughs> that against Journeyman. He's like yeah. Roy Jones, Matt. Rough, yeah. tough, rugged. Well, listen, yeah. Roy Jones is doing it against world champions. He's doing yeah, it against yeah. journeymen. So look, you can all practice your art against somebody that's not in your back. That's great, isn't it? It's great not yeah, to yeah. in your back, isn't it? But 
Yeah. I think that it's an hard fight, and I see Avenetian uh, stopping him late on. But I do. I, I do. Unless Kelly's come on in the last 12 months, I don't know. But if that gets cancelled again, yeah, I think that Josh Kelly uh, will lose a lot of respect and Adam Booth. Yeah, I will. think it will, though. Yeah. You can have it's, a uh, in the world, but it doesn't mean to say you're guaranteed to have a win, does it? No, does it? Fuck no, no. And I no. think that's an hard fight for him. And I think that they need to get... If that gets stopped, they want compensation, Neil Marsh and even Eshin. Yeah. Joke. Yeah, I felt I felt a bit uh, twice now that's been pulled, hasn't it? Pardon? It's twice now that fight's been pulled. Yeah, yeah, it's been rescheduled a few times now, hasn't it? It's, yeah, uh, it's not yeah. looking good, is it? No, but like you said, there you can have the best trainer in the world doesn't mean you're going to be the best fighter. Yeah. Moving on to my next thing was famous fathers in boxing. Oh God! How many do you want me to name? Joe Fraser's uh, done Marvis and Joe. Yeah. Mike yeah. Tyson I, iced him in a round, didn't he? I was thinking more British level. British to be level. Fair, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Chris Medley, Nicky Smedley, they their father and son team. Uh, yeah. well, Connor Ben, Nigel Ben. Yeah. Chris Eubank, Chris Junior, and Chris Eubank, Senior. Senior, although he's called English uh, Eubank. Yeah. 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 Uh, who else? What, I was say, what, what, what I was going to say is... Mark Tibbs, Jimmy Tibbs. Yeah, the achievements the fathers made boxing to the achievements the sons have made boxing. Steve Foster, junior, Steve. and Steve Foster, senior. Yeah, they both live near me. Um, what, Foster, senior, won a Commonwealth and a, yeah. and an IBM Continental and junior won the English Mike and the WBC. And the European Super Featherweight title, Young yeah. Foster. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's there's some, there's been there's been some good ones, but it doesn't always mean that they're going to be better than the dad, does it? No, I mean look at Alan Minter and Ross Minter. Yeah, Ross didn't make didn't go all the way, did he? But he was. No, good. what did what did he win? I think he won a, a Southern Area Welter, and um, I think he might have won the English Welter. Yeah, but his dad were Olympic light middleweight bronze medals yeah, yeah. to Munich, and he were undisputed. Yeah. He was the last undisputed middleweight champion that we've had. Was he? Yeah. Right. The last one, Alan Minter. We've not had an undisputed middleweight champion since Alan Minter oh. in 1980, wasn't it? 79, 80, something like that. Yeah. yeah. And then Agla come over, didn't he? Agla come over and wrote him off. Yeah, he did. He did write him off, mate. Yeah, to be fair. Well, I watched it. I remember it because it was a month before my 10th birthday. And I remember yeah. I thought beer cans got to win, didn't they? That's it, bottles and all that at him, yeah, it's a bit naughty, that. So, so. Uh, is that your questions? There were just a few subjects. All right, do, you, do you want me to help, 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 help keep film rolling? Okay, then. Uh, no, what then. next do you think for Callum Johnson? Does he get the Boatsy fight, yes or no? Um, He deserves it. Yeah. He deserves it because he's not ducked anyone, Callum Johnson, has he? No. Um, but is Boatsy being, being has someone got his arm round Boatsy shielding him a little bit there because Callum Johnson's no mug mate he can put people to sleep yeah well Joshua Boatsy's on 160 grand the fight All right, so why is should it? Callum Johnson be offered 80 then told 40 why should he have to fight him for 40 grand no no and then Eddie said well we've offered him they didn't fancy it yeah but it's peanuts isn't it there you go. For the, uh, I, you know what? Just sorry to stop you there. Russ. On, yeah. the, the video you did with uh, Crawford Ashley. Yeah. Yeah. I watched that when he boxed uh, Michael Nunn for sixteen grand. No, nineteen. I think it was. Oh, was it nineteen? Sorry, sorry, mate. My mistake. Nineteen grand in America on a Don King show. Yeah. Oh, when he got yeah. there to America, they never had no gym facilities for him. That's right. He trained at a no fire station or anything. Yeah. No way to stay. Yeah gym facilities and them sort of fights at the time challenges were getting hundred and fifty thousand dollars yeah, so yeah where did yeah. all his money go who would his promoter uh, you know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's one yeah. of them but crawford's not bothered because he wanted the opportunity but yeah I, yeah he, again again i've watched a, a couple of your videos with him and he comes off a, he comes over a really really sound fella you know yeah he's a lovely kid Down away. Like him a no lot. in great 
I go to see him. Uh, I go to see him uh, every now and then, and we have a bit of a laugh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he seems so calm. We have a bit of a laugh, and he's a nice guy, actually, Crawford. Crawford, I know you're yeah, watching, yeah. mate. Hope you're well. I just yeah. think it's a shame what happened to him, but I spoke to to Dennis at length about Crawford. He always used to say to me, God, if I'd have had Crawford Ashley, could you imagine how I'd have promoted him? I went, no, I can't, Dennis, but what would you have done? He said, I would have had him down as Gunslinger coming into town. Because at the yeah. time, he had that aura about him, didn't he, Crawford Ashley? Yeah, he looked, uh, he looked pretty intimidating, didn't he? He looked pretty intimidating, didn't he? Do you know he, yeah, can you expect, and he don't now because he's no, 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 soft no. And it's nice now, and think, Yeah, yeah. To look in the to look and speak to him now, you wouldn't think he'd have a stepped in a ring. He sparred Peter Fury, you know, and me and Peter yeah. had it, and he I said, sparred him, didn't you? And he went, God, he could hit. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that a few times. Sparring Peter says, "Oh God, I've never been hit like that before." Yeah, know, yeah. Happened. I know other people that have sparred him. And, and let me tell you this, when he fought Clinton, they just timed it right. Crawford yeah. just got to the top and he were coming down and Clinton when he at top at Mountain. Yeah, that's it, yeah. What yeah Dennis, levels, yeah. You know what Dennis did there were magical. He timed it right because he was an underdog Clinton on the night. Yeah. And that yeah. were on pay-per-view, that, you know. And then it went over to America. But Lennox right. did fight, didn't it? You know, from Dennis's show in England. Yeah. To yeah, him. yeah. Put it on with Panas Eladius, is it or something? He's dead now. Yeah. So, but then it, I think Lennox for Olafield or something. Somebody will have to check dates on box right. Crawford, yeah, I think it. Clinton Woods and wait, Lennox Olafield. Yeah. Might yeah. have been a check dates. You'll see what on the same night. Oh, Lennox yeah. on the same night. Clinton Woods fought. Oh, uh, Clinton would Crawford. Be Ashley Crawford Ashley, and that was a good fight. And like you say, brought Clinton's nose and he was spitting, spitting blood out all over. Clinton yeah. won't mind me saying the same thing like Elephant Man next day, but <laughs> he won British and Commonwealth and European that night. And then he got into yeah, yeah. Roy Jones, didn't he? Yeah, that's it, mate. That's it. He, um, never, he never looked back, but Crawford is a lovely kid, and I wish him all the best. I, I, yeah, I really do. Uh, yeah. I was gonna ask you, uh. Do you think Callum Smith moves up? To 175? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. He looked... Uh, I know we only had four weeks' notice for the for the Canelo fight, but he's in the gym all the time, isn't he, Callum Smith? He's always ticking over. But he just looked flat, didn't he? Yeah. He looked flat. He's... Uh, he was putting them combos together nice, but there was there was nothing on the end of him. There was no zipping him. There was no there was nothing that stopped Canelo in his tracks, if you like. There was nothing that mm. you feel if Canelo weak. it was like he was just touching him up. He wasn't he wasn't putting anything in it. Do you know what I mean? To keep him off. Do you feel that four week isn't enough to prepare for Canelo? No, nowhere near enough. Nowhere near enough that for a world champion. To, to defend his title in America, you give him four weeks' notice. No, it's got to be at least. Do you feel that Billy Joe Saunders will take the Canelo fight? Because we've been talking about it for six years, haven't we? Now, <laughs> well, he's fighting that Yule miss next, isn't he? Hmm. Canelo. Why is Canelo going fucking mandatory route? A guy like that who doesn't even need a fucking belt. Why is he going? Man Canelo, you fucking ginger shit house. Come see, <laughs> come see in, me. Uh, I'm sure Eubank Jr. beat that Yule miss, didn't he? Oh, great Eubank Jr. I like Eubank Jr., you know. I don't mind him, mate. I don't mind him, but um, he, he just comes across a bit arrogant. He doesn't listen to his corner. And he, he had a great trainer now, Ronnie Davis, who took his dad fucking right up there. And he, he sat in the corner, mate. He's not even listening to him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can see it in some in some of the fights, and and Ronnie's talking to him there, and his dad's chirping in. And I, I just push his dad out the fucking way. Hey, listen, I'm the trainer, mate. You're you're just his dad. Fuck off. Yeah. Push him out the way and say, listen, you don't you don't fucking start listening to me after this round, mate. I'm pulling you. Yeah, pulling you out. You know what I mean? That's like me coaching the kid in the gym. At the end of the first round, his fucking mum or dad sticks the red in the ropes. Oh, start doing this, start doing that. Hang on a minute, fucking hell. Mm. Where'd you draw the line, Russ? I don't know, mate. If he, if he were my kid, him, I'd flog him with a fucking yeah. pit belt. See, see, that's what I like about Nigel, Ben and Connor, Ben, because Nigel's took a step back 
He's left everything to Tony Sims and Eddie Hearn. Yeah. You don't see them in interviews, mate, or, or training. Yeah, you do see them training together, I suppose, but you don't see him poking his nose through the ropes halfway through a round or halfway through through the through the rest, you know what I mean? Like you Bank sit, Senior. Like you Bank Senior. So same as if my my lad, you know, if my lad went pro and I weren't a pro trainer or you, sometimes you just gotta let him fly their own nest, don't you? Yeah, yeah, but what would Nigel Ben be able to do anyway? Because he, he he he's not a trainer, is he? No, no, no. But neither's Eubank Senior. Well, no, but he's got a trainer's license, anyway, or a seconds license, hasn't he? Yeah, that's probably expired by now. <laughs> so, what do you think but... about uh, Natasha Jonas? You think she's been treated harshly, and Joe Gallagher about? The... I'm going to say something here, right? And. Uh... I've said it to a few lads at work and a few other people. When Gallagher did that statement about Matt Troon being racist, not getting her on the show, I don't think that helped. Yeah, well, I think he meant equality, not racism, didn't he? Yeah, but he changed, he changed that, didn't he? I, I'm not slagging John Gallagher off. Yeah, yeah. I've met him a few times and he's, he's a decent guy and some of my kids out at the gym train at his academy. Yeah. Um, but I just don't think that helped, mate, because Eddie Earn just fucking seen rad. Do you feel that Joe's being squeezed out so his fighters leave him and then Eddie can play some with his men that have got his ear? It's, there's a possibility. Do you I feel, mean, look at... Do you feel, Stuart, that when Eddie Earn rings Joe Gallagher up, because Joe, Joe's been around the block and he's, he's obviously yeah, yeah, been yeah. ring magazine trainer at year, they've had, he's had yeah. more champions, British, Commonwealth, European, than yeah. Body in the last 15 years, aren't he? Any other trainer? So, yeah, he's like at the top of the tree. So, when they ring Joe Gallagher regarding, yeah. oh, we're going to offer you this much or blah, 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 and Joe's like, no, it's got to be more. Do you feel that when when Eddie rings people like Steffi Bull and Dave Cole, they go, <laughs> yes, please, Eddie, you don't like blockbusters. What do you want, T? Yes, please, Bob. Yeah. Well, yeah. When rings, what do you want, T? Think- one for a world title. Yes, please, Eddie. Do you think yeah, that just, Eddie wants just, people? Just, do you think that Eddie wants people who are going to say, "Yeah, we'll have, yeah. That. we'll take yeah. that"? Do it for the I think, uh, I think the thing with Joe Gallagher, mate, he knows his worth and he knows his fighters' worth. Yeah, well, what's yeah. wrong with that? Nothing, nothing whatsoever. It's like if I was a pro trainer, I'm only an amateur coach, aren't I? But uh, someone rang me up saying, "Oh, I've got so and so there uh, for your lad for the British title." The champions earning X amount, and your lad's just going to get this. I'd go, nah, do you know what, mate? We'll wait. Yeah. I'm not just going to take it just to get him out on a Sky Show or a match room show, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So yeah, he knows he's worth Joe Gallagher, and he's a good coach, and uh, he knows what his what his stable's worth. Do you know what I mean? He he knows that that kid doesn't. You know, he could, probably could take that fight and win it, but why? What for shit money? Yeah. Yeah. You know well, like I just said to you there, he came out there, then he did it, Jones said the purse for half. Well, why, how can that yeah. be right? But Watts is only getting 160 a fight because they're keeping Joshua yeah. Sweeks as his manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we spoke about that last time with the EIS. What about and Coley and, and Boatsy, yeah. Olympians, yeah. and Joshua manage him and they're training at the EIS and it's all funded by government and all that. Lots yeah. Of, yeah, it's brilliant for them, isn't it? But not for everybody else, is it? No, 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 no. No, it's wrong, but no. so do you feel that Natasha Jonas is going to be given the chance to fight Terry Harper, or do you think that they're just going to go a different route? I think they'll go a different route. I mean, how old's Natasha now? She must be what I think she's 35, isn't she? She's about 14 years older than an Arthur, 13, 14. Yeah, yeah, so they'll probably just leave it and leave it and leave it until they maybe have to, and then she probably won't have that, that, um, that That's little it. bit in the tank. To, to win that fight, so I won't have that zip in a will she to win? No, 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 no. And she's a she's an XGB member. Yeah, fought Katie Taylor, didn't she? At Olympics, didn't she? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So it's not good, mate. It's not good. Anything no. else you'd like to add, Stuart? No, no. I'm quite happy. Um, I was quite happy with the feedback I got off your last show, Russ. To be fair, a lot of nice comments on the uh, yeah. on the thumbnail. I was quite happy just give you give your social media handles a shout out and your gym address and when your training times are and what it is to train there, how much it costs and all that. Yeah, my Facebook is just my name, Stu Curry. Uh, my Instagram is Stu Curry seventy seven. That's the only social media I have. 
the gym we coach at, or I coach at, is Barton ABC in Manchester. Uh, what else did you want to know, Ruff? Sorry. Uh, and when when your gym opens, obviously it's shut at the moment. But when it's open, what days do you open, and how much is it for? How much will parents have to pay for the kids to train them? Right. We're 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 we're, we're pretty fortunate, us because um, we do like a standing order. So if if you was to come to our gym, you pay ten pound a year membership. Mm. Yeah, and then it's ten pound a month juniors standing order, cheap, and uh, fifteen pound a month seniors. Is that it? That's and it. yeah, that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday for your boxing sessions. But you can use the gym whenever you like. Yeah, it's not just we've got running machines in there, weights, anything. So if you're not doing the boxing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you fancy going for a run, it's raining outside. You can go in there and jump on a running machine. That's all. Awesome, yeah, yeah, it's great, mate. It's great. It's uh, it's good. It's good. Cause I, I've seen a lot of these boxing gyms, mate, and they're charging like young kids for 50 a session, three times a week. What's that? 15 quid a week. It's a lot of money, mate. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of these kids are from deprived estates where you haven't got that money. I couldn't afford to pay 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 for my son to train at a boxing gym three times a week at 450 a session. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So that's, that's your gym then, Barton ABC in Salford, Manchester. 10 quid a month for juniors, 15 quid a month for seniors, and it's tenor. Yeah, to and then tenor to join for your year, and you get like a membership card, so we we membership number on and whatnot. Do they have to buy the kit and that all, lads, who join and that? No, yeah. no, 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 the kit's, kit's provided. Everything's provided. We pay for the medicals as well, uh, pay for the registration. So if you if you were to join us as a young, a young amateur boxer, um, we'd work with you for so long for a couple of months and then it we sort you the medical out, we pay for that. Then medicals aren't cheap. Uh, and then we pay for your England boxing registration and all we ask of you is you just put the time in. Yeah. You know, if we're if we're putting time and money into you, give us something back. Be in the gym. Two out two out of the three sessions, that's all I ask of them, Russ. Yeah. All right. All right then. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for coming yeah. on. All yeah, once again. To you and your family. Yeah, thank you, mate. Good luck with your, we good luck with your gym in Salford. Yeah. yeah. And uh who have you got for uh let's just say Fury Joshua, hypothetically. Let's just say it happens in July, right? Yeah. In Saudi in July, which would be greedy, wouldn't it? I mean, two English guys fighting <laughs> in Saudi. I know you couldn't make it up, could you? But let's just nah, say no. it happens. Who have you got winning? Um, depends what sort of fight it is. If Fury can box anyone's head off Carty on the night, yeah. but Joshua's a complete athlete, mate. He's in the gym all the time, and he's like Mayweather. He's in the gym all the time. Never puts weight on. Never gets out of shape. You don't see him partying or out like that, do you? Well, he does party, but you're not going to see it. Just behind no, no. <laughs> well, there you go. All you don't see, you don't know, I suppose. But mm. if it's over two bouts, I reckon... Fury nicks the first one on points and Joshua nicks the second one on points. Yeah, and we have to go through it all for a rubber match, a third one. And then probably a third one where maybe Fury's a little bit a little bit past his best then. You like Rocky, wasn't it? They're making a Rocky 10, aren't they? Or Creed 4 or something. <laughs> Rocky 10, yeah. We're wheeling Rocky, aren't they, with walking stick? Yeah. All right, yeah. then. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure, and you take care, Stu. All right? Yeah. Thank you, mate. Cheers, yeah, mate. Cheers, cheers, cheers pal. pal.